since 1951. He's been up and down the country high and low. From Galway to Armagh and the Kingdom to Tyrone. Now he says he's coming home to Mayo. Well, the summer sun is here and John Mohan has no fear. He says all the boys are rare and to go. And the West is wide awake. Oh, this time make no mistake. Sam McGuire is coming home to Mayo. For the singles as well. That's another single man on our favour. So this man there, very good. So that's it now. But I hope the singles win, anyways. That's good. That's good. So, Where this time? He's out for blood. If he's not out for Porter, he's out for blood. He's going to really kick ball today. So the game should be short. Just waiting for another few boys now to come out here now. New Year, 1993 here. We're standing here in Reynolds' bar. I have the proprietor here at Reynolds' bar here. And what do you think of this match today? Will it be a success, Brendan, or what do you think yourself? That's looking great now at the minute. I'm trying to get players organised. It's a hard job to get them organised, is it? Skates Mayan and Pat Daly and Jim Fletcher there. And I don't know whether the ghost is playing or not, to be honest with you. Well, I uh, had a, get a hard night last night. It wouldn't be a match without the beer, would it? Well, you have to have the beer before you start, anyway. That's the usual way here in Nangin, anyway. You have to get the beer into it before you get the whole crack going. Well, could I ask your opinion? Who do you think will win it, the married or the single? Uh, we we'll have more married lads than single lads, but the looks of things. There's some of them not married, but they're, you know what I mean? They're, we'll have to be playing with the married lads because they're that way mangled up, like, you know? Well, could it turn out rough? It could turn out rough now. We're uh, expecting Sonny Dunn here, but he didn't arrive here yet. Well, the match will hardly start without Big Sonny. 
Well, we're hoping he's above in the field. I was heading for three o'clock. We're heading up there now. Well, of course, Sonny. here behind us. We have Brickland here. He might stand in for him if, he's, if things are not. <laughs> well, of course, Sonny will be playing full back. He'll probably be in the goals again, will you? Well, hopefully now, if I can get get the team organised. <laughs> well, that's Brandon Reynolds there giving his opinion. We'll go down along here now. And we'll. We'll yeah, got it, will, yeah. Well, the old married lads now are going to get an owl and all this, you know, and want to teach them a bit of a lesson, you know. And even though they're a great old sportsman, all the same, you know. And, um, be a real jack of shares. Oh, I'd say so, yeah. Mm. Well, the scarce says he's going to be a real jack of share with them. Well, Step outside, I'm sure. Oh, ah, like a. You have a way to turn around, you know. <laughs> well, scarce says he, he's fit to. Step one side of Big Sonny. We have Charlie Colligan here now. Uh, might talk out. Fletcher, Jim Fletcher there now. He's a bit younger than I am. <laughs> you said that you, you'd rather look at them. I'd stay on the sideline. Well, Charlie says he'd stay on the sideline. What about Jim Fletcher over here? Jim, who would you think is going to win, the married or the singles? Singles. Jim says the singles are going to win. Why would you think the singles are going to win it? <laughs> Don't have to find out. <laughs> well, Jim is still back in the singles. Now we're going over to one of the, the all-time greats here, Mickey Quinn. <laughs> Is, Mickey's the oldest swinger in town here, and he knows a lot about football. Well, Mick... Who would you put your money on today? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he says. Well, is, is that for the married or the single? Oh, the married lad. Married. Why would you think the married win today, Mick? Well. Is it because the married men are more fit or... Is it because of night work or is it... The, the single lads are a bit under the weather from liquor. What would you think yourself? They're all under the weather. Mickey says they're all under the weather. What do you think of this match is going to take place? I should. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 have, you have me on the spot, have you? <laughs> oh, you're on the spot, all right. Are you talking out yourself, Tom? I should have to go up and give them a hand out, yeah. Uh, well, who would you put your money on? Oh, the married lads, for sure. And why the married lads, Tom? I should have the whole experience. I will walk, we'll walk. I wouldn't be on that now, but sure. So maybe if they're, if they're stuck, they give me an old shout like her. It's a bit, going to be one-sided to give me an old shout, you know yourself. I take them over and I'll hold it. If they're stuck. They won't be stuck before calling me anyway. Well, you have young Brandon Reynolds playing again. You. What do you think of Brandon? Will you get round him or...? Uh, he may have a bit of height, but he wouldn't have the speed. I'd handle him all right. He'd be all right. I look after him, no problem at all. It's that lad I'd be worried about, not the young lad. <laughs> right, that's Tom, worried about that lad. He's mind the young lad. Anyways, and see how it works. Well, do you think would you be fit enough? I should be fit as the rest of them, anyways. Well, I'll hardly make. Well, I give more and I'll leg up and we're right. <laughs> well, I hear there's some hardy books on that single team this year. Would you be worried about them? No, I'm a bit worried. You only get grey hairs and you're worried about it. <laughs> that's no Owens there. No, no. Well, how are you going to get around, Big Sonny? We won't get around, we have to go through him. Well, will you use, use the yellow JCB this year? They have more in Dangan. I uh, interviewed two lads here. Uh, one is uh, uh, Mr. Galvin here. Well, are you going to talk out for the singles or the marries? I'm talking out for the singles. Talking out for the singles. Yeah. Well, uh, who would you put your money on, the singles or the marries? Or, or would you think it'd be a draw match, or what do you think? Well, I think, you know, the, the marrieds, you know, they, they, they're a bit tired after last night, you know, and most of them are out there with their wives and all the rest, you know, and singles are all ready and ready to go. We're, we're a tough bunch of lads, ready to play. And here's the lad. In other words, in other words you'll be saying that the married men were doing press-ups last night. More or less, more or less. <laughs> right, fair play to you. We'll have uh, Brendan Quinn, the whole ref from Dublin here. Brendan, what do you think? Your first uh, appearance here on the... On Park near Murray here in Dangan, and I, I saw myself you're talking out for the singles. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll give uh, it a run for them anyway. Oh, what do you think? Would you, would you be able to compete again the likes of Big Sonny Dunn and that? 
It's hard to say, really. I don't know the form of her, so just hope for the best, anyways. Well, you're fairly confident in yourself, are you? Ah, a little bit, a little bit confident. When you meet the likes of Big Sonny Dunn and Brendan Reynolds in goals, Brendan Reynolds is standing in the goals, Big Sonny Dunn is full back. How are you going to work your way around Big Sonny? Uh, I'll walk over him. <laughs> Never mind, I'll down him. <laughs> Just jump over his head. He says he'll jump over him. Well, we're going down here along the line in a few, a few more of them. We'll have, we have a great spectator here at every match in Dangan, Mr. Kevin Reilly from Coolog. Well, Kevin, what do you think? Ah, sure, it's great to see them out after the Christmas. Get rid of all the old pudding and porter and everything. We should have had more married men. Though. Would you think they kick the pudding out one another? They will. I say so. Well, who's your bet? Oh, the young lads. The young Same lads. Oh, yeah. Well, you're a married man like I myself. Am, yeah. And, and would yeah. you not think the married men is fit to stay with them? No, not at all. They have themselves bet after the Christmas. Right, that's Kevin. We're going in here now. <laughs> Andy Buckley, I'd say. But however, we won't worry about the co, Tony. Your son's playing for the singles. What do you think will they do? I, I, think, um, I think the married men could, could do it. No, I mean, the young fellas think they're great, but those stages, I tell you, you can't beat them. Well, you have a lot of old stages out there, like of, of um, Brendan Rollins, and you have um, Willie Kennedy and Camillus Kennedy, and played there with Daniel for years. And uh, uh, you're a man after my own heart. I, I, my money is, is on uh, the Marys. Uh, uh, yeah, I think the Marys will do it. Well, you, you think it yourself, will you? You're not going to play. Well, my old years is gone, and they old hips at me, but how never? You're the first man that said to me all day the Marys are going to do it. Oh, yeah, all the experience. What do you think they'll win me? I said about four points. Four points. We have Mickey Keaton standing now here. He's... There's a sick. <laughs> John, who, who would you back? Bye, quiet. <laughs> for five. Husband's talking out for the married men. Uh, it's Carmel, I presume, is it? Carmel, what would you think? Will Camillus come home with something for you tonight, or will he come home with something that he thought he had? What? Will he come home with something for you, or will he come home with something that he did promise well, you? Sure, I'll tell you this, he comes home every night with something for me. Is that alright? Carmel says he comes home with something <laughs> every night. Standing outside the fountain here in Dangan, getting prepared for this marriage and single match which is held every year, we're just going in now to have a chat with a few of the boys and see what they think of the game and see what who's going to win in that. Soldier here from Main Street. Tom, what do you think of this game? Will, will they play at all today? I'm afraid with the, 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 the weather, if the, the, this weather changes a bit, I think. Night Gollum and, 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 and yeah, yeah, well, I, I don't think it's going to be a success somehow or another. Uh, but poor old me, you see. I can't go today now, because they were wet because of old rheumatism and pains of your name. Now look at the gibber now. Uh, one of the lads sa said down there, you're afraid you get a bit of a poke. Is that oh, true, Tom? I oh, know, a poke's no problem to me, behold. I'm, I'm at the poke in several times, but the case is our flower. <laughs> well, you tell me, you don't think they'll talk out, do you? Uh, I don't, Galvin, I, I think that there's a peel in the gallery, the the gallery here now, and, and Galvin. That they're making bad progress, I think. Oh, 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 oh God, I'm hit. Are you well, by, by, by giving my galvanized sneakers or something like that. that, that, that. <laughs> well, they tell me Ned is sub for the married men. Is it true or not? Well, don't you see that? Huh? A sub at the fire. A sub at the fire, Ned says. That's a grand conceit. That, that's what I want to talk about. You want to be sub at the fire? <gasps> oh, Lord, heavens and earth. Oh, Right, that's Tom. I, I'm trying to get the, the owner of the fountain here, Gay Galvin. Here, Mr. Gay Galvin. Gay, what do you think of this match? Will it take place at all today? Of course it will. The are hardy fellas on you. They'll play any day. <laughs> you'd, well, you'd put your money in the married men, would you? Definitely, yeah. You're, you're going to give us an old tune on that tin whistle to start them off, will you? Right. Good 
Good man, yeah. That's Mr. Gay Galvin there. Putting his on the right road. Serious now, and I have the deputy done here in the hallway from Crohan. Deputy, what do you think? Will, will there be a game at all today with this weather? And who do you think is going to win? The game has to be played, whether or not. It's a matter about the weather. It has to be played, and that's it. Well, who would you put your money on for today? Oh, a couple of thousands and the singles. Winning at the Rays. Singles should win at the Rays, you say? Well, you'll be there to look at them, will you? Um, possibly. Rain or no rain? Rain or no rain. Right, that's the deputy done. Have Tom Moore here beside me. <laughs> Tom, we were talking to you last year and you gave us a great hole run down in the match. What do you think this year? Ah, oh, sure. It's hard to know. <laughs> I'll go for the married lads anyway, sir. You'll, you'll go for the married men? Yeah, sure. Give them a chance I had anyway. Have you ever a few bob on them? I haven't. No, nothing. I sure surely get something on before it starts, will you? I will. If someone comes with a, a paycheck or something, I might get a few pound on them. <laughs> well, what do you think the final score will be? Ah, sir, I don't know. I suppose there'll be a couple of pints in it. It mightn't be much. I'd go for the married lads anyway, I'd give them a whole three pints ahead anyway. I might be out there playing along with them myself yet. Right, well, don't forget to talk out because you... Depends on the weather now a lot. You played a, a stormer last year. Yeah, but getting on now, now I have for it. You're in for the second half now if you do all right. <laughs> right, well, that's Tom. Joe owns the series here in Daniel. Joe, what do you think of this match? Oh, sure. It'll bring out the... The married fellas and the single fellas and see which of the best is married life to the money harem or which is be better to be married or to be single. <laughs> well, who would you think is going to win it? Uh, I'd say the married men and have the better staying power. And you think would it be a rough match? Oh, no, it wouldn't. It should be all a... Bit of crack. Please. Bit of crack. Right, well, that's Joe. Further now. Yeah, like bar now, and I have Mr. Paddy Cameron standing beside me. Paddy, what do you think it is to help with the marries and singles today? I want the old married lads pound them. Your money's on the married men, is it? Them. Oh, God. It's Manion playing. Oh, Manion's playing. And Willie Carowan. And Willie Carowan's a super sober here this year. How will Jimmy here? Well, I said Jimmy has the, the gear with him. Um, why do you think the married men? You not think the single men be more fair? Uh, no, there were no, not a splice of football in the singles. I have the gear here above. <laughs> I have his brother here beside me, Jimmy. Jimmy, I hear you're talking out today for the married men. <laughs> Jimmy's very quiet. He gone shy on me. He is. Uh, Jimmy said he'll talk out later in the evening. I have Paddy McCramer down here, Paddy. You always have a big match out in Kill again tomorrow here. Yeah, Marries and Singers. Marries and Singers. Well, wh what do you think of the Daniel lads? Well, what way will the game go, do you think? I'd say the, the married lads will do it. You think the married men's going to bet? Oh, yeah. More experience. More experience. Right, well, that's Paddy McCramer. We'll go round here to the lounge now and, and we'll see what's out this side. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bernie, what do you think, Bernie? I'll tell the thing or something now, if you ask me anything, I'll tell him too much about himself, so bring him out to the lounge. <laughs> That's Bernie, she's not going to give us a run down the match at all. Jimmy is a few words. Eddie. Single lads, that's Eddie. We have one of the single players here for Daniel. Mick Conley. Mick Conley. Mick, what do you think? I don't think a whole lot now at this stage, it's about dying with a hangover. <laughs> Mick's dying with a hangover, he's not too worried about it. Well, Greg, what do you think? About what? About this match. Um, not a whole lot, no, Goss. Um, I think that Iraq should be declared neutral by the Americans because because popcorn is just too dear nowadays. And <laughs> <laughs> That's a man gone hair wire all together. Right. We'll leave you and we'll see you above in the field. We're here. Savage Farrell here beside me. Well, Savage. Are you talking out yourself today? Oh, for certain, guys, yeah. Will you spare the married men, do you think? Without a shadow, without if, if Mick referees it again. Mick, are you the one ref today? No, 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 no. no. You're, you're, you're giving it up altogether, are you? Yeah, resign, resign. Resign. Mick's going to resign. I have a, one, another sing, one of the singles here, John F. John F., are you talking out yourself? I uh, might. 
Are you may, I see, you, you may talk away here, they're, they're very short this year. How do you think the game will go? I don't know. <laughs> John F does not, will you score at all you think? I don't think so. I might John, score later on though. John says he might score later on, right. What do you think? Yeah buddy, how are you all? Happy, happy Christmas, happy New Year to you all here in Offaly. Same I'm a chairman, Sarah Castle. I'm a first cousin of uh, Sean here. The first cousin of the yeah, Savage. Just down for the weekend. Were you ever at this Marion single game before? No, first time and I expect it to be good fun today anyway. You're expecting good fun? Well, it should be good. Who, who would you put your money on? Marion or the singles? Uh, well, I'd say, well, uh, I said uh, married men should uh, shade it, I'd say. Right, that man says the married men should feel it. Singles will win because you have a good team there. You have Brandon Reynolds and all them, like you know, they're and they're working out last night or doing anything funny, you know. So they'll be as fit as a fiddle. You think they should do it? I think they will do it. What do you think the final score will be? Ah, around six or seven to one. Six or seven to one, right? That's Sherman. Sherman's money's on the single. I have Andy Colney here beside me. Andy, what do you think the, the way this game will go? It should go to the, the singles. It'll go to the singles. Why do you think that, Andy? Because they're, they're the best. Andy says the singles are the best and they should go to them, right? We'll head on out to the lounge here now and see what they say out there. Who's the win today, Andy? Your money's on the singles. Sorry? Your money's on the singles. All the money's on the singles. That's all I have now. <laughs> right, that's Paddy. How, Peter Murray beside him. Peter, who would you back to win the game today? I like the doubles. You were, ba you were backing though, lads. Why do you think that, Peter? Because they're professionals, they're good. Professionals, they're good. I have his son here, Tony. Tony, who do you think? Stop. What? Who do you think is going to win? I won't make any even. No, but the single lads will win. Of course they will. Tony, as again, his father there says the single lads. Marries or singles? Oh, the married ones. Why do you think the marries are going to do it? Uh, they have more experience uh, of uh, going through life and how to play the game. Right, well, that's Macho. I have Bernie here beside me, Bernie McGrath, the whole way from Crawford. Bernie, is the boyfriend talking out for the singles today? Talking out. Who are you putting your money on? Well, that's put on John. Singles. She's putting her money on John, the, the singles. We well, have the. The goalkeeper here for the singles, Joe. Do you think are you going to do it today? Oh yes, we'll do it. No problem today. Without a shadow of a doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt. Right, that's Joe. Honor here beside me. When I recently come home from England, James. Who are you going to put your money on today? The marries or singles? The married men. The married men. Why? More experience. More experience. More experience. What about this man here beside you? Johnny's his name. Johnny. What do you think yourself? Who's going to win? Well, the Merry Men, of course. The Merry Men. Why do you think the Merry Men's going to win it? Uh, they've much more experience than them young fellas. Well, you not think the single men will be more fitter? Ah, oh, no. Experience counts a lot more than that. Experience counts, Johnny says. Right. Standing here outside Park now, Mary, St Mary's football field here in Dangan, and both teams are getting ready in there in the dressing rooms, and it promises to be an exciting game, so we'll just have to wait and see what it turns out to be. Hi, Paddy Hickey here standing beside me. Paddy, what do you think of this game? Will it, uh, oh, it'll be good. It'll be good. Who do you think's oh, going to win? Good, very good. Who do you think's going to win? Oh, Brendan Reynolds. Brendan Reynolds is going to win with the singles or marries, which? He'll be the winner. He'll be the winner anyway, says Paddy. Right. That's Paddy's <laughs> job on the whole thing. Going in now in a few moments to interview some of the boys with this match today at the semi-final between Daniel and Clara. We're going in now to see what the boys have to say about Daniel footballers, if they're going to win or lose. I'm here in the Sportsman Inn in Daniel now, and I have the Hog Mattis here from Daniel wearing Daniel jersey on him. Well, Hog, what do you think of the boys, or what way are they going to do today? Well, I personally, I think they, they should do it. To have the boys back now, the full team, and they should be able to do it, right? If they do it my way, they'll do it good, and <laughs> that's it. Like, just get in, play a match, 
do it well and do what they have to do and keep pressure on them. Put them under pressure the whole time and that's it. Clara can go home with the tail between their legs. Good hug. Well, hug, uh, what do you think the score will be? Will the betting be much? I'd say the score would be about 2-3 to... 2-3 to... Mm, 5 points. 2-3 to 5 points. Well, that's the hog beside the hog. Huey, what do you think? If they can play as the form, goes, they'll win it. They have Pat's ball on back today and Jerry Galvin, I'd say they would take it. Who said Dan, you have a, a, it all there for the taking? Better than a fair chance. No, to be honest with you. Well, do you think will the win be much? Uh, maybe not. It'll be tight because Tower's a good side. It'll be tight now. It'll be a good old slogan if they all keep their heads. You know. Well, would you rather have Daniel meet and Eden Derry if they get through today or for ban? Uh, Jesus, no, that, that's, a, that's a hard one. No, I'd say for ban. You would say for ban, like myself. I have the Shaver Queen here, one of the, the all time greats from Daniel. Shaver, I, I was just listening to the radio there and I heard Ricey Scully on it a few minutes ago. He mentioned you something about the chapel in Daniel having no roof. And he was afraid whether he gave the right date or wrong date. Did you hear it yourself? I did indeed. But that chapel is gone now, isn't it? And there's a new roof on it. And Mick Casey, Mick Casey put the foundation to his... supposed to be no bottom in the Dangan team, right? There is a bottom this time around because Mick Casey put the, the bottom into this Dangan team, right? And we're near a bit afraid of who was in it. There's four teams left in it. There was, there was four teams up there yesterday evening and Saturday evening there, right? But there's only two, three teams left in it now. And we don't give a damn about either Clara for Ban, because we're all out there to win it, especially with Mick right back doing the job for us. And we do our homework well, and it is done well. Well, do you think we'll dine in bed, Clara, today? I have no shadow of a doubt about that, especially with just the two men involved, the goalkeeper and the full-back, they're from the lab, not till the Derry or Dangan Hall, but we will come back to former years, you know, where we did win championships, it was all the best of the, the boys come over from, from the lab, you know, not till the Derry or Dangan uh, again, the lab, right? Green, Carry, the whole lot of them, and we're back this time, and they're going to win it again this year, right? Well, you'll be there yourself in full colours, will you? I'll be there myself wearing the sportsman's in colour, maroon and white. The same as the rest of these boys. Good man, Shaver. That's the Shaver. And going down here, I see a few down here alongside. There's a waffle scatter going on down here. I have Jim Staples sitting up here. Jim, father of the full back. Jim, what do you think yourself? Are they going to do it? They're doing very well. They're well. They're doing great. It's a bit, a bit about four points. Jim says they're going to bet Clara before pints. Are you going yourself, Jim? Yeah, I'm going to see my son playing. Full by. Good man, Jim. That's Jim Staple. We're heading out here to the bar now. Down, Deputy. Down, Deputy. Tom, Tom must be telling... Speak up now, Deputy. Tom must be telling the truth. The Deputy won't face us at all. Oh, that, that, no, because he's too fast anyway. Tom says he's too fast here. <laughs> Coming up here to another man now. I have Paddy Jing here, the whole way from Crohan. <laughs> Paddy, you were a blue shirt. Are you still a blue shirt? I see you in a maroon shirt t today. Can you show them? What do you think? Are we going to do it? Ten pints. Ten pints, Paddy says. Are you going to the match yourself? Uh, I'll be there, no problem. Paddy will be there. Is it, did you hear the... On, on the dep. Did you hear the rumour that uh, the deputy done has money on Clara? Yeah, 40, 40 pounds. 40 pounds is on him. Is it the truth? That's the truth, that's the truth. He's a known liar. I seen him putting it down last night. You seen him putting it down last night. What do you think of the deputy? The bollocks. <laughs> Right, we'll move on here to Larry Jordan. I see him here behind me. Before anything is said, I didn't steal the deputy's bike. <laughs> right? It was a crown man. Not a Clara man. Okay. Are you going to see your son play today? I most certainly am, yeah. We're looking forward to the game and hope they can win. And I hope they put up a good performance. Well, do you think uh, will they win it? I think myself they should win it. I'm quietly confident. That's Larry. Good man, Larry there. Uh, Paddy Graham here beside me. Paddy, are you going to the match? Oh, I'm going to the match, all right, but I hope it's a good match. The best team win. Which do you, which do you think is the best team? Well, Daniel, of course. Will the win be much? 
Yeah, well, if we get there with a the paint, what we do? Well, that's true. If we get there yeah, with a the paint, we're... Do you think if we, if we get through today, we'll win the county final? Well, we'll have, that'll be another day. We'll have to wait and see. Oh, you're fully confident that Daniel's going to win today? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, that's Paddy. Look at that. What do you think, Sammy? Is Daniel going to win today? Oh, definitely. Definitely. You'll be there yourself to watch, will you? Oh, yeah. Get in now, as soon as possible. Do you think will the win be much? Two or three points. And two or three points will get us there to the final, won't it? Definitely. Um, and through the final. Do you think they're going to win the final this year? They're going the whole way. They have it this year. Right, that's Sammy. Peter, what do you think? Uh, I don't think a whole lot of them, but uh, I hope Daniel do win. There'll be plenty of crack and beer. Uh, hopefully, we'll draw a few women. And this song is one of my... <laughs> well, Eddie, what do you say? <laughs> Whatever he says. Whatever he says, Eddie agrees with him. I believe they're a very good young team, so hopefully they will win. Well, would you have your money on Daniel for today? I would, certainly. Have a few pounds on them. Good man, Oliver, has a few pounds on them. Right, that's Oliver. Ha ha, Brendan, we caught you. Brendan, you were soon playing corner forward today. What do you think of Daniel's hopes today? Well, we're all hoping to win. I'm not too sure, but we're, we're hoping that Daniel wins. Do you think will the win be much? Well, a pint will uh, be enough to win by if we can get through. Well, you have your money on them today, have you? I put money on nobody. I just, we're all hoping that Daniel wins because they're a long time waiting to, to win something. And it's great to be in the semi-final. You're the under the sportsman in here in Daniel. You're listening to lads having the crack the whole week. Is there any truth in the rumour that the deputy Dunn has money on Clara? Oh, definitely, definitely. Deputy backed, he backed Clara. He definitely backed him, all right. So it's dead money, is it? Well, we're, ho we're all hoping it's dead money. Um, who would you rather Daniel meet, Eden Derry or, or Furban in the final, if they get that far? Ah, it's a horrible pity like, to see Eden Derry gone over because Eden Derry have played last night in the, in the semi final. And Unfortunately, they got beaten because the Prabang got off to a, to a great start and they had three goals and a pint in the scoreboard in the first ten minutes, so it was very hard to come back. But uh, it would have been great to see Eden Derry and, and, and Dangan in the final, that's providing we can get through today. Yeah, you, will you, you take it over this year or what will you do? Good chance this year now. A good chance this year, says Mick. Right, I see Pat Gorman over here, we'll go over and have a word with him. Well, Pat, who do you think is going to win today? All the married lads. Certain. Why do you think the Mary men are going to win it? More experienced. More experienced. In, in what way? Everywhere. <laughs> Everywhere, says Pat. Right. That's Pat. Give me your opinion. Give me your opinion. We have Donny Carey here. Tom Moore whipping the cap off him. Yeah, good at that. Well, Donny, what do you think? Oh, I said, got to get into Christmas now when the Mary men will be stiff after Christmas. The Mary men are yeah, going to be a bit stiff, are they? Are they not stiff the whole time? <laughs> oh, a lot of them. Uh, trying to towel them after today. You'll put your money in the single man, will you? Will, yeah. Right, well... They better not call him me now to play. Donny's hoping they won't call him, right? That's Donny Carey. <laughs> uh, Brendan Moore here, uh, knowing well and dangling is Mary. Aye. Well, Brendan, what do you think? I think fuck the whole of them. Wouldn't kick snow off a rotten rope. They wouldn't kick snow off a rope, you say? That's all. Not when it's not on it, how would they kick it off? And they can't pull it anywhere if it's given to myself. Well, who do you think will win it? Huh? Oh, it's a dull singles. Dull singles, says Brendan. Right, well, that's Brendan. This match, I have the married team here in front of us now. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, a group shot at him. Well, boys, how he's going to fare out? He says we'll bet the share. I'm fair play to Tom. Right, boys, it'll be on news of the world next week. <laughs> now we have the single lads here today. Uh, and, uh, Daniel, uh, I see Joseph Kennedy there in the middle. Uh, well, lads, how do you think you're going to do? <laughs> well, that was said about you earlier on. Best of luck to you all. Are we finished? Smile, smile. 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 
this is one of the older members of the, the Dangan uh, senior team. He's making a bit of a comeback this year. He's been doing a lot of training inside in Tullamore. And uh, some of the awfully selectors at the moment are keeping an eye on him. And have told us to keep an eye on him here today. Kieran, uh, do you mind me as asked what age are you at the moment? Oh, 36. 30, <laughs> 36. 30, 30, 30, 30. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, we didn't know he was that age. So sorry about that. <laughs> He's a little bit over the hill, so we'll have to let him go. <laughs> was here with Danyan teams, and, and I see the Blackthorn Bar up here, at, up over the counter here with uh, Blackthorn Danyan. Uh, you sponsored a lot of teams. Well, Brendan, what do you think of your chances today? Dang is going to make history this evening. They're going to win by more than people who people think. They're going to win well. Well, you have the likes of the young Greens and that on it. Uh, they should, if they break form. There's a lot of young lads there who are waiting for silverware and they're going to get ahead this evening. They're going to win us. Would you be afraid of uh, Trumbalog yourself? If you're over afraid, you're going to lose. Them lads are not afraid. They're going to win. That's all I have to say. <laughs> right, that's Brendan there. Right, uh, Daniel. And uh, I see the... Daniel footballers all getting ready and geared up over there. Patricia, come over here beside me, Pat, for a minute. Uh, well, you can work tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> now, tell us this much. Uh, what do you think uh, Daniel chances? They're going to win. They're going to win. And is young Daniel playing with them? I don't know that now, Gus. <laughs> well, he's, he's off duty tonight, uh, but uh, I suppose he would be there on the sideline. That, that's good news, Gus. Glad to hear it, like. And uh, you have to work. That's a fortunate uh, that you have to work. No, actually, I'm going to the match. Well, you're going to the match? Yeah. Are you, well, are you meeting Daniel? No, I'm going to watch Daniel play. He's going to watch Daniel play, right? That's the Queen of Daniel. We're just heading across here to some of the footballers. Uh, Brendan, what do you think of your chances today? Uh, it's a great goss. Uh, will you come back with the cup to us? Oh, hopefully, yeah. That's the idea, anyway. That's the plan. Right, that's Brendan. Right, it, just here arriving in Connor Park this evening. Uh, my helper here today is Connor Fehan. I see the Danyan team have already out on the field. They look fairly fit, fairly strong. Connor, what do you think yourself of this team? Ah, uh, it's a good young Danyan team. Uh, they should have no bother with him. Um, should have no bother with Limbalog, We hope it's the fittest Danyan team I've seen in a long time. So hopefully we'll be back playing senior football next year, guys. Well, in towards the square, out comes Seamus Mack and cut there with Paul Jordan. Jordan drives the ball is in the back of the net. Paul Jordan that time, a lovely goal there from Paul Jordan. And Vincent's cup. Oh, thank God! Of the first one, here we have John Green. The crowd gone mad here. John Green. There'll be celebrations in Dangan, I'd say, for a whole fortnight after this. John the Mickey. I'm going to intermediate time. It was a wonderful game of football. And certainly they fought to the bitter end. And certainly they, they really deserve to win this game. So congratulations to Dangan. Hard luck to come along, the losers. They certainly put up a tremendous fight. It was a great game, a great evening's entertainment. I want to thank our sponsors, number one, Church Street. They have been great to us during the year and I want to wish them well. So ladies and gentlemen, I present a cup to them. team, the fucking ones out there and they put their heart in, they played with guts and determination, that's why we're here this today. Yeah. I want to thank management, Alan Riley, Brendan Dunner, the man who come over and believe in us and grace me, Martin Murphy, mate. Yeah. Next, I want to thank the supporters 
Without you, we're fucking nothing. <laughs> Most important, I want to thank some belong. It was the most hard, sporting, tough game I ever played in my life. <laughs> they hated us every time we moved, and that's what football is all about. Three, Three cheers for some belong. Were they very good? Yeah. Did you think they were going to win? No, I thought they were going to lose. You thought we were going to lose me uh, when they got to one point, did you? Yeah. Are you delighted now? Yeah. Hey, right, that's uh, my old flower from the Black Thorn here. And we're all heading back. What did you think? I thought it was great. Oh, he would be. Did you think Daniel were going to win? Yeah. You were backing them the whole way to the hills, were you? I was trying to put a bet. <laughs> you were trying? That's uh, me. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we're leaving O'Connor Park here this evening and we'll finish off. Uh, and a very congratulations to Daniel. Uh, they're all gone mad here, as I said. We'll meet you all back in the Black Thorn for a celebration drink and everything after. Uh, I see Pat McGraw walking around here and I don't know whether he was supporting Daniel or Tlumbalog, but we'll find out after. Right, goodbye from us here in O'Connor Park. Tell them all we'll see you all back in Daniel later on. Five balls and three pints. Right? Right, boys, thanks very much. Don't the fucking thing they want to see you. No, clap in the air for you, boys. That's it. Mark Whittle, home from, home from England. Here. Came home, especially, especially from England today, to be here at this match. And we're still not sure if he's with the marriage or the singles. What is your, what's your response to that match, Mark? Oh, massive. Massive. Saw a lot, a lot of potential out there today. And, 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 and what side do you want? Uh, the Maroons. <laughs> Were they married or single? Oh, single, definitely. Jesus. I see him in retirement. He, he played, played a good bit last year, so Flex, Joe, a Flex. few words, boys. It's hard, hard, hard work, hard work out there. Hard game. Yeah, yeah. Mark said a lot of potential out in the field there today. Yeah. With a man flowing all the way from England for this match today, it was very important today for that man there. He's only he's walking out now with shame, but oh, he played all right there today. Not bothering him. He did well. He did good, well. Yeah, good, good, good game. Yeah. Great commitment from all the players. Fair play good, to good to see such a, a big turnout as well. Yeah, yeah. brilliant turnout. Fair play to the Maroons. They're up against tough opposition. Come on, Joe. Yes, yeah, that's, that's good sportsmanship, Joe. Well, well done. Come on. Put up a battle there. Come on, Joe. Okay, boys. Uh, Seamus McIvoy over here. We've got words. Seamus, don't run out. Come here. Okay, you have to come back. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of the lads that uh, you, 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 you can't see him, but you hear him you know, in the background. That's why you're going to be. You so, might see him, but you won't hear me. <laughs> no, Johnny. The final score was the Whites, three goals and two points. The Blues, five goals and three points. And a happy new year to everyone in Dangan, and especially the GEA and the lads behind the effort today. Brilliant, brilliant stuff, boys, and thanks very much. Uh, uh, I have an upset. Yeah, I have an upset now, I'm saying no more. And the best of luck in 2005, lads. Cut, cut, cut. Good luck, Joe. You, 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 you can start with that there. You can start with that. <laughs> Both teams and do
Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're here in the Sportsman Inn in Danyan. We're here to interview a people, few people over this match today, the Danyan Junior B. And uh, first I see here is Peter Gorman. Peter, could I ask you a question? How do you think Danyan's going to fill out today? <laughs> Johnny P is taking that away. I'm not prepared for that. Peter's very shy. We're going down along the line here. I see Hubert. Hubert Daly here. Hubert. You're a man that, that played soccer in your time and played Gaelic football. Could you tell me, uh, how do you think Daniel's going to fill out today in the Junior B Championship? I win, but that was a shadow of a doubt. But that was a shadow of a doubt? Five points. Five points. Uh, what do you think the other team is going to do? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> I see the Sherbrooke Queen gone in there now. We'll be in after him in a minute. Right, that's here. I see his brother here with a hair of purchase coat on him. Half a crown a week. Pat. I believe Pat's your name. Well, Pat, what do you think Daniel's chances are today? I reckon Daniel's going to share away a couple of points. They have, have a good man over him, Paddy Keaton. Paddy Keaton's over him? He knows his stuff. Is that, is that long enough? He, he hasn't well school. I think they'll do it by about two or three points. Two or three points, that's Pat. Mr. Kelly, Matt, you're here. Matt, we're, we're doing a program here today on Daniel and, and Dora. Daniel are in the Junior B final today. How do you think they're going to fill out? I think Daniel will do it by a couple of points. They beat him, they, they was, uh, beaten the last day, they both have played. I think they told it over the right. I think it's well prepared. They're there now anyway. It won't be too easy beating the final. That's Matt Kelly there. Now, see Telly Tubby here in the corner. Well, Telly Tubby. What do you think of Daniel's chances today? Do you even know who they're playing? I don't know. I don't know who they're playing. <laughs> what do you think their chances will be today, Skip? I don't know. They're, they're going to change an awful lot. Fucking better than they were. Fucking the party. <coughs> That's the first man I heard uh, running down down. I see the, the manager of, of the sportsman in here behind the counter. We'll go down and have a chat with Michael Green in here. We're here with the sportsman in and down now. Michael, you'd have played the hole and, and represented Affley on the 21s. What do you think of Daniel's chances today against Doha? They have a great chance, about four or five points, I'd say. Will there be a drink here for the boys when they come back? <laughs> if they come back. <laughs> I'd assure they will come back. What about the chips and sausages? Oh, yeah, no bother at all. I have a, a Crotton man here now. <laughs> Crotton man here, no phone calls today for Vincent, I believe, is it? Well, Vincent, you're a Crotton man. Uh, what do you think of Daniel? Uh, four pints. Four pints. And I believe that you moved from Crohan to live in Daniel. <laughs> yeah, but very hard last Sunday. Very hard last Sunday. Well, you still believe Daniel will do it today? Oh, hopefully, hopefully they do it today, but we were very lucky last Sunday. Five minutes extra time. Five minutes extra time, Vincent says. Had you any money on him today? No. Not a shilling. Not a shilling, no. Right, that's Vincent Collins, a uh, really, really easy move from Crohan to Danyon to live in Danyon. Played football all down through the, his lifetime for Danyon. Well, Sherber, what do you think of Danyon's chances today? 50-50. 50-50. And uh, what do you think of, of their trainer? Very impressed with him. Very impressed with him. I have uh, Christina here beside me, is it? Christina is a, a Crohan woman, I believe. I'm originally from Crohan myself, but Christina, what do you think of Daniel's chances today? Slim. Slim? Well, uh, have you ever known Bob on them? No, but I wouldn't put money on them. That's Christina there. Christina says she, they hope the win. Fair play to her. We'll move on a little bit further now. We'll see a few more down along the line here. Finish off here in the Sportsman Inn in Daniel. I have Christy Daly, the whole way from Ballycommon here. <laughs> Christy, turn down here to me for a minute and tell us this now. What do you think of Daniel's chances getting Dora today in the Junior B final? Nil. You've no hope in Daniel at all? No, not a hope. Now, I believe that you, you have a lot of money in Dora. I have a lot of money and I have around 500, not too much. Not too much. Well, a man of your class ability wouldn't... Uh, Class of building cabinets, you, you wouldn't speculate too much. You, you're sure that Dora's going to win? Oh, without a doubt, yeah, without a doubt. And tell you what, Dora will have an old favour with you, myself. <laughs> right, right. <laughs>
Joe Series at the moment. I have uh, Sean T. Farrell here beside me. Sean, you played football for a long time with Dangan. Yeah, a bit close, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, what do you think of their chances today again, Dora? Well, good old chance. Help of God. If God's on our side, we may win it. Have you a few pounds on them? I have a good few pounds on them, yeah. You wouldn't like to speculate the amount, no? No, I can't say. No, the taxman's a devil. <laughs> I hear that you're, you're going to do a little bit of commentating today on the match. I don't know. I, it all depends on the, on the situation, because I don't hate the road. So you should be very good. You're very confident they're going to win anyway. Uh, to help of God, yeah. To, 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 to. Everyone goes according to plan. I believe uh, I was talking to a person down the street, and I believe that he said that only they got five minutes over time they wouldn't have won the last day. Well, it wasn't at the last day, because no, I, was, I, was, um, I was working. You know. I was working, right. That's Sean. Sean will be doing the commentating for you later on, ladies and gentlemen. I move down here and see. Um, <laughs> what do you think of Daniel's chances today, Emma? Uh, not too bad, I suppose. Because I'll kill you for this. <laughs> no, no. Give it off mixed cereal last night. You said in for Daniel one time yourself. Is that true? Ah, uh, once, yeah. Well, how would you fare over it? <laughs> I don't know. I was jarred at the time, so I think I don't know. Right? I don't know. He was jarred all the time. Right, we'll move on a little bit further down the line here. I have a butcher here. <laughs> well, a Crotton man, I know you're a Crotton man. I'm a Crotton man myself, actually, but will you tell me what you think of Daniel's chances? I haven't a clue. I didn't see them playing. You didn't see them playing? Well, have you any idea of the score? What do you think the final score will be? That man has no clue. I must be talking to you, Mr. Smith. I said Angel will win it, yeah. Very, <laughs> very easy. Very easy. Do you have no confidence in Dora at all? No, none. The goalkeeper's going to do them. Goalkeeper's going to do them. Uh, what do you think of John Kinney? Will John score or. What do you think? Well, they did last John scored last night. <laughs> fair play to him. No, 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 what do you think of uh, Daniel's chances today against Dora? I wouldn't know much about now, God, I did it it. I believe you're a betting man, i uh, tell you a few pounds on Daniel. I am, I'm Daniel, I hope to win it anyway. What do you think of Kenny? Will Kenny play well? Oh yeah, he's bound to. Very consistent, he's bound to play well, yeah. Now that's uh, Michael Hart. I, I'm going over here to a man that goes to every match in, in, in the, the county. Jim Cameron here, the whole way from Mullerush. Jim, Jim's a bit shy of the camera today. I have uh, Charlie Culkin here now. Well, Charlie, what's your verdict on the match today? I said it'll be a draw match. That's my verdict now. Well, I'm after interviewing a good lot of people this morning, and you're the first one who said to me it'll be a draw match. Uh, a replay, and uh, were you at the last match? Uh, I wasn't, no, no, I was out injured. Out injured, Charlie, was uh, uh, was a ligament or...? Uh, pull muscle there, my old, my old leg wasn't great. Uh, uh, we can't change your mind, you believe it, it's a draw match? Draw match, You're a man that travels to matches, Crow Park and Everton, I was with you on, on several occasions there on the buses. Uh, what do you think of Daniel's chances today? Oh, the half and a half. Having the hope, and you're a dungeon man yourself. That's right. Now the, where would you get the hurlers in dungeon? No faith in what's uh, Oh, no, at all. Well, have you ever a few bob on Dora? Oh, I have Dora back to the hill. Back to the hill. Yeah. And uh, would you believe it now that the dungeon would be very vexed if, if you didn't back them? Well, of course, sir, but sir, you have to back the winning team. Well, that's Jimmy himself says he has to back the winning team. Fair play to him, every man's entitled. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to hand you over to Sean to your foul out there in the bar, who, the man who's going to do the commentating for you this evening on the match. Over there, we're caught customs there, and it's a free in for Nangan. It's John Green over the red helmet, number red in his bag. The game about 30 seconds on. John over the first opportunity to score for point for Nangan. John hits it and strikes it. And it's over the ball, the first point for Nangan, and Nangan go ahead by one point to no score. See Tommy Ford over the blue helmet, a little island man, Sean McFool, Ford, Michael Connor, Connor Ford. On the far side of the field, we have 
Frank Green, I think it is, and centre and half forward is John Joe Hanlon, and we have Jason Carey. The ball is poked out on the cutter by John Green, but it's a controversy going on here now. The referee goes in, same middle lane from Eaton Derry, goes into the goalie. Hits it out, hits it across the far as Mick Conley. Mick Conley's hit hard over Mick Conley gets the ball. Here's John Hanlon, the bowler, the gallant John Joe. Tommy Fox tried to raise the ball, pulling the ball. Here comes the third man, he gets a slip in the head or an accident there. Number eight's gone down there. Number eight, John Gavin. Gavin gone down there. An accident there. Tommy said, sorry, sir. Assistance is needed for this man. This man is snookered. Very tight. Uh, unfortunate there with, it, with uh, Clavin. Yeah. So hopefully, you know. Hopefully, we'll be fixed for Dangan. It's a long time to go yet, though. Dangan lead one by one point to nil. John Green now playing minor for Offaly and under 21 for Offaly, but holding football. John now plays the ball. Looks at the goals, the wind in his bag. Complete silence of Red Ruby again. This is John now pucks it. And over the bar, and Dangan lead two points to one now. Dangan playing with a strong win in the first half. The goalie now from Niall Canarney for Dora. Pucks the ball out against the winner. A shortish one that's going to break as far as Carey comes up. But Frank Green now pulls in the ball. In as far as Big Mac. Big Mac gets it and pulls it out. And it comes Sean Mac with the ball again. Mac gets it. Tommy Farrell has it. Tommy gives it into to Mick Conley. Mick Conley now. A Main Street Dangan. It's gone over the bar. Oh, it's gone wide, well to this side that was over the bar, but it's gone wide. Neville Cecil's and Son of Finbars. The goal down now with the puck out. Short one again, a strong breeze. It comes up and Frank Green goes for it, breaks it down. Here comes Dora now, Dora get the ball, flicks it back there. Paul has it now, Paul hits it in. This side the field and it comes to the number five for Nangan, who is Eddie Green. Eddie flicks it across as Mahi Flanagan, Mahi now. All the time in the world, blocked down there, good block there by the Dora man. The centre field gets it, now Ollie Clavin, centre back, blocked down there by Frank Green. It's by one man, it comes on, here comes Dora again. It's poked in, it's a lot of pulling going on there. Colin Jones is chasing there. Colin pulls in there and John Green pulls, Colin Jones pulls the fresh air, swing by Colin. Kicks the ball, Dora have it. Gets it now, number 10, is it number 12? A good puck in there and it started to rain, now we're going to be drowned. It again. Here comes the midfield for Dora. Don't let her raise the decision, man. And here comes Eddie Green. Eddie Green now, Eddie. Got all nice little sized up by Eddie and a good puck, and it's gone all the way over the bar. A great point by Eddie Green. A great reply by Eddie. The youngest of the Green clan. There's four Greens on it. There's Eddie, Frank, Peter. Eddie, Frank, Peter, and John. <laughs> Seen there, Johnny. His team was behind the semi final. The shot there. Alan Comer there in front of him. Well, Shailen, man. Free again for Dora. Just put them two points up, I think. He stands back, he strikes it, and it's gone wide, 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 wide. Now Dangan getting a reprieve now. The wind has died down, the rain has stopped, the crowd is still coming. About 45,000 here at the moment. Fergus Ball with the puck out. A high one, Jason Carey goes in, John Green goes in, Jason number five has it, no number six, the centre half back comes out, blocked there by John Johanlon. Ficked in as far as Potter Grady. Grady is on your man. Grady is pole. He's waiting the pole. He's, he's waiting the pole, Grady. Simon about to throw in the ball. It's pulled there and it's here comes the Durman. Frank Green, John Green, Colum Jones. It's blocked. It comes out. It's blocked again. It's scooped in there. Greeners, and it's Eddie Green pulls the ball on the ground. And here comes to the Durham number. Strikes it in there. Here comes Paul Cohen again. Cohen with the ball. Cohen hand passes it into number 13. Number 13 now with the ball. Strikes it in as far as and it comes into there. And out comes Shawnee Far with the ball. In as far as Shawnee. Shawnee has gone centre half forward now at the moment. John John, or John John's going in full forward. Mick Conley with the ball now. Mick. A good side step of Mick. And a free and a Mick, Mick Conley has the free there. Well done by Mick Conley there. Main straighter there from Dangan. Nephew the King Conley that's in. The King's in Nace now at the moment watching. Osprey Ridge and Faithful Bond trying to win a race for the first time. John Lee. 
Tran stands back now. Looks at the goals, bends, lifts, strikes. A low one, and it's a pint, a good pint there by John Green. It's over the bar. It's over the bar, a draw match, I think, here in, in Killorn at the moment. It's one, two to five pints. John Green has, I think, scored everything for Dangan so far. Canarney with the puck out. The far side of the field. Pulled in there. My fanning gets in there. It's come out and then here comes the door man. It's pulled in and then it comes to uh, Eddie Green. It's going to go. No, Eddie Green's going to collect this ball. It's where Eddie gets it. Picks it up. Sidestep. Pulls in this side, this side of the field as far as Tommy Farland. Tommy Far pulls in there. Young Carey has it. Carey gets it. Good ball into Sean Mack. Big Mack. Hard look there, Sean Mack. Mack blocks him again. Tommy Farrell. Good scope by Tommy Farrell. Here comes Carey. Carey pulls it to Frank Green. Frank Green has it. Pull a, 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 a kind of a half chop there by the Durham man. Shoulder there to John Green by the number nine. Pucks it in there and it comes to. It's pulled in there now. David Carey, Michael Mountain, Patrick Grady are all going for both Mount Lucas men. It's a free in. Carey on in or Patrick Grady on the slide there. <coughs> Wipes the hole, looks at the ball, stands back. Colin makes a run. Good cut by Colin Jones in around the middle of the square. Mick Conley goes and it's gone wide. Hand passes it across to the centre half back. Slapping playing well there. He's gone on here. Mahi Flanagan. Mahi gets it up. Mahi keeps it in as far as Tommy Farrell. Good score by Tommy Farrell there. That's the boy that at the butter. Another one from the Little Island. There's an academy up in Little Island at the moment. The School of Holland and Football. He's one of those members. Draw match now, six points to one three. The goalie pucks it out. My flying did well there for that last score. Frank Green now pulls in it. Now come to Durman, blocked there by Colum Jones. And Colum Jones could surely get a yellow card, I'd say, now at this stage of the story. All right. John Johannes up there, now the Durham man comes out and Mick Conley again with the ball. Mick now gets it up. Flicks it across and it's a great, and a great score by Mick Conley. That's a massive score by Mick Conley. Well done there by Sean Mack, Young Carey, Tommy Farrell, Mick Conley, and Mick Conley the second time. A great play by Mick Conley there. Almost from an impossible angle. The goal now with the ball, the puck. Thank you, Lee, with a couple of minutes to go in the first half. Takes out this far to the side of the field. Broke it down there by Eddie Green. Pulled in, and it's Eddie Green knocks in, and it's gone. That's not gone yet. It's gone now, and he had dangling ball there. Dangling ball, Colin Jones now is told to settle there by Tommy Farrell. Colin places the ball. John Johannan calls for the ball. I don't know if he can get, he can get in that far. Colm now striking the ball. Booked across to Jason Carey. Jason, Sean Mack, a big Mack about the ball. No, the number five, the, well hooked up by Sean Mack. Mahi Flanagan now. Mahi pulled the ball. Free in there for the Hard luck, Mahi. Well held by Fergus Farrell. Fergus Farrell pulled the ball. It's going for the well Good catch there by Fergus Farrell, but also a good block there by David Carey earlier on. Sideline bar here now for for the order. number ten now Brian Cohn with the ball. Sideline proper order. Well, no, what do you think at the moment? <laughs> well, we're going well, Sean, at the moment. We may be uh, hard in the second half. Now we're playing against the win, but we should do it. It's just gone wide there now. There's some player going to tang it. Still be a pint up, and it's a strong, strong win here now in the second half. Sean Lefar comes out there to mark number thirteen. And Tommy Farrell is going to get his name taken, a yellow, a yellow card. And this will surely be a point for Doran now, playing with a strong win now in the second half. One point in it, eight points to one four. Taking his number there, Simon. Giving the yellow card. That's it now, it's one for the Brooks now. There's a low ball in, and it's blocked up, by, well done there by Peter Green. Peter Green breaks through as far as Mike Flanagan. Mahi now challenges the man, he's pulled across at the free upper angle, well tackled every Mahi Flanning, well done Mahi, well done, Mahi. did his job there. Come on, John. Come on, John. And David Carey now with the free upper dangling. The sun now begins to shine here in Killowan at last. David now doesn't even place the ball, picks it up. A strong puck by David, a good puck, left it into the far side of the field. 
Up goes the dangling by it's blocked in there. Column Jones gets it, he loses it. Sean Mack, Big Mac has it. The River Lanes man goes through, hand pass across as far as Frank Green. Frank Green, or Frank a cousin. He falls, the doorman comes out, a challenge there by Column Jones. It's poked in there, young, good little flick there. And here comes Shawnee Farrell pulled in. Pat O'Grady goes down. Grady, well done by Grady there. A great pull by Grady. Peter Green now. Peter Green trying to get it. Peter Green free out for Nangan. No, it's not. It's challenging. Here comes the number 14. He's coming through. Flicks across my front and goes in. Here comes the number 12, the captain with the ball. He pucks on it. It's gone over the ball. A draw match for Nangan there. A draw match there now. Good point there the, by the captain of Dora. Come on, Nangan! This win could play a factor in this game yet. Fergus Farr looking for a ball. Fergus now shows the ball, he's going to puck it out, the referee sees it. Eddie Green there now looking for the ball too. Fergus now pucks the ball over on the middle of the field and up goes John Green. John Green is pulled and Sean Max there, the doorman there, the doorman comes out. It's blocked there and here comes number 12, the captain, then a blinder there for Dora. Strikes in there as far as David Carey. David blocks it down to the full four lane, the full four has it again. Good block there by Shawnee Farrell. Patagretti missed it, here comes the full four, flicks it in there and pulled in there by Shawnee Farrell. It's pulled and it's just heavy slashing going on there now. This is desperate at the moment. Pulling, great pulling there by Eddie Green. Eddie Green was far as brother Frank. Frank misses it, but the center field has it now. Frank is in again. Here comes the Durham man again. Challenged there by Shaw Mack. Shaw Mack does well. Frank. On, Frank Green had the ball. Pulls on it. Left handed up as far as Jason Carey. Will he get to his book down by John Green? But the Durham man can bang his pick up. No breaks. The center field man pucks it in there. And here it comes to Cohen. Cohen now. Blocked there by Peter. Number 13 hits it in and it's gone over the bar. Dora lead now, 1-5 or 1-6 eight, one one to 8 points. This win could tell a tale now. Tangan down by a pint. And there's any, any switches going to be this Tangan here now or not at the moment. It's poked out there to the side of the field. Eddie Green, Sean Mack goes up, it's pulled and Jason Carey misses it. To Shawnee McGrath comes out, it pulled up by Shawnee McGrath. Grady behind your man with the full forward gets it again. Or seven and a half forward. Well, great block by Grady. Pulled in by Frank or by Eddie Green. Well done by Mike Flanagan. Mike Flanagan, a good clear by Mike. That's the thing about a good clear by Mike Flanagan. And as far as Mick Connolly, the danger man. Mick now gets in a hand, gets a hole, gets everything in. But here comes the centre field for Dora. Column Jones now came in a half late block there. Comes to. Uh, it's pulled in there. Oh, Jesus, it's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Pulled in by Fergus Fowler. That was far as Eddie Green. Eddie Green collects it. Give it 90, Eddie, Eddie is getting half fouler, but gets up and comes out, burst out for the ball. Eddie to Chase, Charlie Fowl pucks out beside me and it's gone out for a second. I would say it's the edge of but um, it, it's fairly close, John. We, we just above my scrap now with the, the wind is playing a major factor in this game. We're a pint down there and all at the moment, but I think any switches would you make around at the moment? Well, it's not up to me to make any switches, Sean, but uh, our centre of the field is not hitting it at all at the moment. The centre field is gone, says Nolan. Peter Green catches it, a great bit of centre back. Hand passes that was far as his brother John. John gets it and loses it. John pulls a good pull by John Green up as far as his brother Frank. Frank flicks it in as far as Young Carey. Young Carey misses it and it comes to Colum Jones, oh, another centre field man. The third man gets it, Colum Jones has it. Colum Jones lifts and strikes. Colum Jones gets it, hand pass the back to pull one handed pull. John Green pulls. David Carey, David, David Carey does very well. David Carey has done well. Carry left handed, is, he gets it out anyway. Carry in again, a good strong man. Tommy Farrell, a lot of pulling. Carry pull, John Green pull, they're all pulling. Well done there by Eddie Green. Eddie Green pulls the ball again, up as far as Colum Jones. Colum Jones pulled mid air. The ball straight to midfield. Carry pulls in it. Carry has a chance here. Carry, good pull by Carry. And as far as Mick Conley, Mick Conley's a bit later behind the ball. Flicks it out this side of the field now, it's going to come again. Eddie Green, Eddie Green does well. Eddie Green pulls it. Eddie Green gets it. Shawnee Farrell has it. Shawnee Farrell. Blocked there by the number 10, well done by the number 10. Free out for Nangan, well done there by Shawnee Farrell. Grady now, away Grady. Grady well able, another ball on Grady. Well on at the moment. Oh, it's Nick and Tuck here now at the moment, Savage. Nick and Tuck says Grady. Young lad. The name comes in, Tommy Green out the middle of the field there now. Hold on, David, hold on. Hold on now. Take your time there now, boys. Simon now getting another autograph. Paddy Caton out there now. 
Carry well able to young lad, well able to hold his own with anyone. One point in it now. What's so wonderful? Again, David Carey now. Told to go back. David now bends, lifts and strikes. Up along the side of the field now when it comes to uh, Come on. Come on, Decky Farrell now. Decky hits it in. I think young Jason Carey's going after now at the moment. Not quite sure. Up goes John Green. John Green pucks it in. Here comes Tommy Farrell. Tommy Farrell goes down. Tommy Farrell collects it. One man. He's shouted a good. Well done by Tommy Farrell there. Tommy Lezen. John Green now will drive this ball in. My Fang and one hell of a game there. Number seven for Dangan. Playing very well today, Mahi is. John Green now. John now looks at the ball. John bends, lifts and strikes. Strikes it in, a good ball into the far side of the square now and it's up goes. Sean Max there. Frank Green's there. Free in, a free in. Well done there, right? Who's the Eddie Green? Is it Eddie Green? Eddie Green down a wing half far now, I think, at the moment. He was playing always to come back to his own position. And this will surely be over the bar now. John Green going up to take it. Callum Jones plays the ball from. John Green take this to now, and this will surely be a draw match for Rang with the help of God. One point in it now. The wind has died down a bit. Surely a good sign for Dangan. John now looks at the goals. Looks behind him. Looks across. John bends, lifts and strikes, and it's over the bar, it's all match, a good score there by John Green there. John going by, John playing one horse for the game there. A draw match now at about 10 minutes gone in the second half. Number 10 looking for the ball, Peter Green's beside him. The goal here, young, young Carney, Niall has to pick up the ball again. Now he gets the ball, pucks it out this side of the field now between Sean Mack, Peter Green, Tommy Farrell and it's... John Green pulls in, Tommy Farrell raised the ball again, Tommy now playing well, he's come wing half forward, pulled in there by Tommy Farrell, as far as the wing half back, the, the number Eddie Green is there, but the number 12 is there, the captain of the cap of uh, is there, pulled well done by Mike Vanagan, Mike Vanagan having a stormer there, wing half back for Dangan, Sean Mack, the big Mack has the ball, it's block in there now, there's a lot of shouting going on, Frank Green's in there, the Dorman has it, the Dorman with the ball now, hand pass out as far as the captain, Paul Cunningham with the ball, Paul now. My Fanning, once again, my Fanning getting a bad back third, or bad wrap of a herder inside the head. It's going out to Dangan Ball there, my Fanning's going down. We don't want that man injured anyway. <laughs> my now got a holder and said that the first aid kit, the appearance of that, I'd say you'd want Dr. John Harverson to come in because he got that big of a belt. Uh, it doesn't look too good for Dangan at the moment. He's playing well there now in the back leg. So, we just have to wait and see what way he's to fix him up. <laughs> he's still on the ground, they're shaking bottles and everything over there. And that's up there for Dora, come on there now. There's a lot of swinging there with the hurl earlier on, but Peter never minded a bit of it. Just by one. Free in for Nangan. Well done to Tommy Farnick goes in. John Green now. John Green wants to let this around the dresser now and just see what happens. And see if we can hit that onion bag with the ball. John Green now stands back, lifts, strikes. A great score by John Green. That's a massive score by John Green again to win. 60 yards out, that's the score. John now can come back to the half-back. Pat's Callum Jones down the back. But John Green has done very well. John playing centre half-back now at the moment. Sean Max gone centre field. The ball is poked out. Sean Max under it. Oh Sean, Sean Max hits a great ball. Peter Green gets it. Poland. Sean Farr pulls on it. Peter Green pulls on it. Pull, Tommy, pull. Tommy Farr can't get the ball up. Here comes the drum and they're up. Get in with a stick. It comes across as far as well done by Declan Farrell. Decky gets Ash to the hole, that's the most important thing. Decky gets the ball out. A draw match now at the moment. 
A big crowd here in, in Killowood saving Shawnee McGrath now with a sideline cut for Dora. Shawnee now pucks it out as far, toe dangling in, and Sean Mack had a Sean Mack pulling it. There's a lot of flashing going on here now. The ball hit across as far as Colin Jones. Colin breaks it down to the centre half forward, or the sub to come in. My running it there again. My lives to John Green. John Green. And John Green storming out with the ball. John Green hits far as Declan Farr. Decky, a good puck in by Decky Farr. In as far as Mickey Connolly. Mickey Connolly now has a pace in this lad. Mickey breaks in as far as John Johannan. John Johannan pulls the ball. And now comes the wing out back for Dory. He pulls the ball across. It's pulled in again. And there's all men all over the place. Dorman gets the ball, drives it in to the full forward. I mean, Pat O'Grady in the full forward. Fergus Farr comes out, scopes it out. Pulled. Fergus Farr pulls out there. That's the man he got out. It's not gone out yet. Well done by David Carey, a great kick, a great puck by David Carey. There's not a dangling man inside, but here comes the Durham man again. Blocked and well done by Declan Farrell. Here comes the wing out back for Durham again. He pucked it in as far as Tommy Farrell. Now Tommy misses it and it comes to... The ball is well blocked there by Shawnee Farrell and the ball has gone out. It's now it's a Durham man, has a, the shirt and has it the sub. Pucks it across and it's gone, gone across the square there. Grady goes up there, young Carey. And King Carey playing well there now, young David having a blinder. Carey. Carey again goes in. Eddie Green has it. Eddie Green surely drives this ball. Eddie pucks up the far side of the field. Sean Max there, the centre half backs there. Sean late pull there, free in for Dora. Draw match now, and about 10 minutes left in the game, is not 12 minutes. Eight minutes left in the game. They're all times are all wrong here. Eight minutes left. And injury time is right, says Grady. Well, Grady, what do you think now at the moment? Oh, no, no, it's very tight. It's hard to say, Sean. You couldn't say at the minute. Would you like to be out there, Tony? I'd love to be out there. The ball is gone wide. And I think a goal will win this game for either side. Another way for Dora to have a large chance to hit a lot and wide. Come on now, lads, we can. Fergus Farrell now with the puck out. Come on, Fergus, up this way. Fergus now pokes that ball out. Out the far side of the field, looking for Eddie Green. Eddie Green goes up and Eddie Green collects it. Eddie pulls in the ball. The Dora man comes out and here come there's a lot of pulling a free, another free in for Dora. Got a bit of a lead starting there now. And Mai landing in there. Mai's thinking no nonsense. Another man down there now. We shall be heading for Pelican House now to get blood for all these boys. <laughs> Jones now with this puck in. A sideline cut. Column hits the far side of the field and it comes, or this side of the field and it comes to John Johan is down there pulling a heavy pull in the bit for Sean Mack and it comes to the Durman again. Durman kicks it. They can play football in Dora too. Well blocked in by Mahi Flanagan. How comes Centre Half back? Playing well there for Dora. Here are Peter Green and John Green, two Greens, and John Green's gonna get this ball, it's where. John pulled a good pull by John Green. Up as far as Colum Jones. Colum Jones takes across to John Green. John Green had the ball. John is foul, and this will be a free in for Dangan now. John Green now with a great chance. John now lifts strikes. The great ball in, it's gone into the full forward line. There's no John Johannes in there. Tommy Farrell, there. Tommy Farrell gets the ball up. No other passes, it gives it out as far as Declan Farrell. Decky Farrell with the ball, and a great score by Decky Farrell. That's a great score by Decky Farrell. A great score by Dan. Dangle lead by one point, about five minutes left in the game. Great ball in there by John Green. Tommy Farrell got well, give it out to Decky Farrell. And Decky the guard from Clunders Lee. Out and Sean Mack goes but misses it and John Green pulls the ball and here comes Dora again. Mai running and Mai pulls across. Mai's in and got another bad bell but Mai gets up, not a bother on Mai. The ball is blocked in and it comes in and it's gone over the bar and a great point ever Dora. Draw match again. Nick and Tucker at the moment. The draw match now at the moment. Go by Fergus, it's going to come to John Green hopefully and John gets it. John now blocked down and free in for Dora. And this will surely be a point for Dora. Flasher Dangan lost the Junior B football final here. They're hardly going to lose the Junior B Hall in Arda. Free in now for Dora. Dead straight in front of the goals. 40 yards out. Lift strikes. And puts it over the bar and Dora lead about three minutes to go, I think. 
Now Dangan's under pressure. A goal with a one for Dangan at this stage of the story. Fergus far now with a good book of one th this time. Fergus books out this side of the field now and it comes as far as John Johanna. John Johanna gets it, John Jai has it. And the ball gets by one and he still the number five that and John Jai has its ball stuck on the stick. It's a sideline ball, free out for, for Durham. It's looking blue and over Dangan at the moment. There's five minutes left for the sideline poking as a sideline ball for Dora. Cunningham the captain again now with this ball. I'm going to cut across the goals. Gone wide. This is really a last chance for Dangan. They want to go to, 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 one, to one a quick poke, poke out. Fergus Fargan may drive it out quicker for Jason's sake. Pucks out the side of the field now. John Johanlon goes up, Sean Mack goes up, pulled him by Dickie Farr, John Johanlon is there. Despite his goal, dangling ball, dangling ball, dangling ball, dangling ball. Two minutes in your time, played so far now. Dickie Farr now. Come on, come on, in, in, in. Poked up along, Sean Mack now gets it, Sean Mack had the ball, Sean Mack had the ball, that's what we want, a big dang man to go with the ball. Mack now drives it into the far, in as far as Mickey Connolly's ball is pulled out and it comes to the door, man. I think it's Brown Bedford Dangan at this stage of the story. Mike Vanning and David, David carries there, David has pushed the back. Free in for Dangan and John Green is surely a last repave now from John Green. This is, this, it's Die Dog or Shadow license now, John Green. Now John can put this over the bar, it'll be a great score for Dangan. With the help of God, this holy blessed mother he will. John, now this is most important, this is a lot of pressure on this young man. John half hits it, knocks around the square, it's gone in. Oh, chases on a great save by the goalie, the goalie didn't one there. Dorman has it, he hits it across as far as Sean Mack, Jason, Sean Mack has it, no, Sean Mack playing well now in the middle field. Hits it in as far as Eddie Green. Free in now, this is surely a chance for him. That was a handy for him. He has to make a draw with this. John Green out, the help of God as I say again. I'll never curse as long as I live if John puts this over the bar. With the help of God, John will put this over the bar. Might get a pint of stout somewhere. A pioneer after it. Yes, I will. I never drink again if he puts it over the bar. John Green, now this could be the last chance for Dangan. John now stands back. Lifts it. Strikes it. It's over the bar! A draw match for Dangan. Dangan, Dangan came back. And surely now the referee will blow this game up. But these two teams can take the play again. A quick puck out by the goalie. It's gone. He may puck it out again, he may puck it out again, I knew well the goalie wasn't. A free in. A free in for Dangan, I don't know what's going on, but... I take the... Maybe I'm wrong. Huh? When Jez was in Torres, I'd be in Peking, and that's a certainty. Puck out again. There can't be much left in this game. Five minutes extra time is it played. It's all over the draw match, I think. Thanks for the God. Well, Tony, what do you think? Oh, great defeat there with Daniel. Great game with Daniel. 
Come on, did, did well. Great, yeah, great, great. What do you think? Great, great comeback. Great score by John Green, which is, I mean, there's a lot of pressure on him, that young lad to get that score. And he, fair play to him. He put it straight over the bar. Well, it draws a fair result, Tony. Fair result, yeah. Yeah, I think Simon gave a few dubious decisions, but I think he made up for it. But we'll have an old drink in, 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 in the black town anyway. We will for certain, Sean, and, and many a drink we'll have, I hope. Yeah, very great. And that's it now, everyone. The replay now, I think, is next one of the week now in Torles. So, hopefully, everyone will be there. Thanks very much. Good night, here, Ian. Here in uh, Park Nevermore, here in Danyan for the marriage and singers match. I have the married team here in front of us now. Uh, with a, a group shot at him. Well, boys, how he's going to fare out? He says, we'll bet the shale. I'm fair play to Tom. Right, boys, he'll be on news of the world next week. <laughs> now we have the single lads here today uh, in uh, Danyan. Uh, I see Joseph Kennedy there in the middle. Uh, well, lads, how do you think he's going to do? <laughs> well, that was said about you earlier on. Best of luck to you all. The referee for today is uh, Brendan Dunahoe, ready to start the game now. <laughs> the single lads are down at this end, and the uh, married lads are on my left here today. <laughs> right, and we're off. Yeah, passes the ball down to but one of the lads on the single side up, out comes what they call him with the ball for the Maori men. The Maori men turn away down the field, Young Smith I think it is. Young Smith drives the high ball down towards the goals. Out comes Young Carey for the ball. Carey passes the ball up to the goalkeeper I think is uh, today for the marriage is uh, done from fourth field drive. Bit of a hustle and tussle going on down in the far end. I think it's uh, out comes the goalkeeper again with the ball. The ground very slippery here today. Pass the ball up along the graveyard side. Misjudge there. A lovely pass over to Standby. Standby pass the ball down to Brendan Dossie. Brendan Dossie misses the ball. Out comes Mick Conley. Mick tearing his way up the field. A lovely bit of toe to hand. Getting a bit of hassle there. Gets the ball up to, to Tommy Tucker. Tommy Tucker drives the ball up to Young Carey again. Young Carey punches the ball on to Piaka. Number 13, he's still on the way up along the side of the field. Drives the ball up into it, and it, and it comes off the upright, and back out again. And it's a pint, a lovely pint there for the married men. Drives the ball down, low, hard ball down on the ground, down to, towards the... Is it Tony Kennedy now? And in comes Tommy Tucker with the ball. This man with the blue togs tearing his way in, and drives the ball into it, and well caught there by the goalkeeper. Punch back out by the goalkeeper. Out comes Andrew Corkin with the ball. Drives the ball down towards Joseph Kennedy. Brendan Darcy misses the ball. Darcy gets his boot in there. Drives the ball back towards Mick Garrett Conley. Garrett Conley across over to... Um, young Brennan. Brennan to Mannion. Out comes 
young Kerry with the ball, the man with the green jersey. As, as caught there by Yap, I think. Yap drives the ball up to No. Up to his brother. Misjudge there. The referee calls for the ball there. I hear Brendan Darcy looking for water. Meanwhile, we're back with the play. Here, the ball still in towards the goalkeeper. Shane Owens with the ball. Shane drives a, a Gary Owen up towards this end of the field. Down to Conor Fee and misjudges the ball. It's caught by Young. And the Whittle drives the ball down towards. Oh, it's a bit of a push there. Now comes Carry. Carry gets his boot to the ball. Carry still with the ball. This man plays soccer as well. Half blocked down there, big. Yap's brother. Yap drives the ball across over to Yap. No, Yap doesn't get there in time. It gets the ground and your man's tearing away with the ball. He's still going down the field. Steadies himself. A low ball in and it's caught there by Joseph Kennedy, I think. And a high Gary Owen kick and it's gone wide. Will this game continue? The rain is lashing down here. Meanwhile, we're back with the play and it's Joseph Gallagher with the ball. Joseph's still with the ball. Joseph drives the ball back in. And out comes young Smith, I think. It's caught there by young Root. Drove back in towards the goals. And it's over the bar. I see Shane Owens has moved our goals now out to centre field. Uh, yap over here knows it is Yap. Colin Wet shouting for the ball, shouting at the ref. Mick Conley with the ball. Mick gets the ball over to Colin McAuliffe. Colin McAuliffe drives the ball on Joseph Stephen racing after. Joseph has the ball. He's been pushed and dragged and shoved. Shane Owens with the ball. Shane drives a Gary on up. Up goes Young Carey and, and, and Young Cork. And Cork is still and loses the ball. Mick Conley, they mean dragged and pulled, and referee rewards a free out. A quick take and free down to Yap, Yap, turns, drives the ball over towards his young McAuliffe, young McAuliffe stiffs, he goes back for the ball, he has the ball again, being pushed there by Shane Owens, he gets the ball down along the wing over to Yap, Yap drives the ball in towards Jock, Jock has the ball now, Jock going in towards the goal, still Jock, Jock punches the ball across the square, has cut Derby, and it's in the back of the twins! Well, it's a penalty, the referee's got in there. Martin Rook here having no messing here with this game today. He's ordering all out, I think, by the goalkeeper. Well, Shane Owens, the, Shane Owens has gone out of goals now. Shane Owens is out centre field. Well, who's going to try this one? Shaker, I think Shaky. That's the killer that's gone in the goals. It's a shaky that's going to take it. It's hard to see down that end of the field. The rain Tucker beginning to take. lighten off a little bit now. Tommy Tucker's going to take it. I see Tommy standing back. They're all making laps and pulling. It's shaky that takes it. And, and it sticks it in the back of the net. So last and leaving the pitch here, I see Carmen Hickey and uh, her sister and Tony Kennedy who've had a great game there leaving the field. Jason Stephen is the last man with the ball. I believe... Uh, we we'll also like to announce that... Uh, Shaky has received Man of the Match today as well. And we'll see the trophy later on. We have himself, who I thought was one of the duckiest players all day, Brendan himself. Brendan Dawson. And Tom Darcy. Jason Carey. Jason Carey. Thank you. The Bomber Kennedy. Have we the Bomber in the house? Oh. Yeah, Joe, see me there, sir. 
Well, they don't think Joe's who he's around. <laughs> right, uh, give me Murray team a big hand there. I'm not going to measure myself a captain. Eh? Now I'll hand you back to Brendan here. Now, lads, there's a few more lads here that we can't forget. The first fella, he tried to keep peace on the field today, which was a big job in the South. Mr. Martin Rourke, referee. <laughs> That's the toughest match ever, Martin. And you haven't that much today. No, well done to all the lads for hogging out. There's a lot of people missing, but someone has to make an effort. We started back somewhere, so we got to go on again, all right? Away, right. Now, lads, there's two lads here at this marriage the same since the start in Pat Potter's time. And I'd like to acknowledge these lads today with a few trophies. The first man, lads, leaving all the slag on the side is Mr. Goss Goulden here. We have to give a big round of applause here. Thank you very much for using a good commentary. Goss. And there's one more man, <coughs> whatever happens here in this town, he has a covered on video. And it's always nice to have all these tapes looking back through the years. Mr. Johnny Brew. Johnny, can you come up here for one second? Right, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the day. We'll do it again this time next year. Good night. Anyone want to see the match? Right, but, but the back on the match, the second half now I thought was best. I've seen a lot of football. My time was the best half, was the second half today. A few good lads out there. And that we keep this going every year. I'm very sure that Johnny and myself will try and keep it. Every bit of help we can keep in, along with you, we will kindly support you. If you keep it going again next year, and we will like, please God, we'll be back here. And don't forget, this is where it started from. And fair play to Brendan, as I said earlier on, kept it going again this year. And this is what you, it brings the crowds down, and ye all enjoy yourself, and we enjoy ourselves doing it for you. God bless and happy new year from Johnny and myself to everyone. Well done,